Once you have your rentals created on the rental section, you can start added bookings. You have several views where you can see your bookings. Well, my favorite is the booking calendar, but you can also use uh, the booking inline planning or the booking planning. You can also use uh, the booking list. From all these views, you can create new bookings. Let's go back to the calendar view. So you just select your rental and to create a booking, just select the period for the booking and a pop-up will appear. From there, you can choose whether it's a confirmed booking or a tentative or if you just want to set this period as unavailable. In this case, I will leave it as a tentative for well two weeks, let's say. You can then add the number of adults and children. It might affect the price if you set a price per person. You can add notes, you can add sources, you can add uh, the client name. So if it's a new client, just type your uh, client name. If it's a returning client, it will appear uh, in the list. Well, let's say it's, um, yes, it's Bill. Then uh, is the price section. So this price is automatically calculated from the uh, rate tab of your rental. You can see here uh, what season it corresponds and if there's a special offer or whatever. You can decide to set a discount either as a fixed price or as a percentage. The final price will automatically be updated. And you can add, if needed, a fee or service. You'll see here the final price. You still you see here the, the down payment. If you didn't change anything, it's 30% of uh, the final price. You can set a damage deposit if needed. And once you are happy with your, um, your booking, uh, you can just create it. Okay, so now it appears as a tentative booking. If you need the customer to pay the down payment to uh, confirm the booking, um, and if you set up a payment gateway and uh, a contract management, you will see appearing the payment link here that you can directly send to your customer. You can also add um, manual payment like uh, for wire transfer or cash or whatever. From here, you can edit the booking again. You can confirm the booking or cancel the booking. Um, automatically, if the tentative booking is not confirmed in the 14 days, it will, uh, it will be cancelled. I hope it helps.